With a scatter graph, what we're trying to do is to determine whether there is any connection between two sets of data. Is there a connection between a group of people's heights and their weights? Is there a connection between their heights and their shoe size? Is there a connection between their age and their IQ score? So all of these, um, the fact that you're looking at two sets of data and then seeing if there is any connection between the two. And that connection we refer to as correlation. So correlation is a big part of what we're doing when we're considering scatter graphs. So first of all, let's see what one looks like. So a scatter graph uses an XY coordinate axis much like you're used to already. And it may well be that we have weight along the bottom and then height for the vertical axis. And you would be going from a table, so you might have the weight and height of specific people. So, for example, weight, the weight of one person might be um, 70 kilos and their height might be 1.4 metres, for example. So we would go along to 70 and then go up to 1.4 and then we would mark a cross. Generally speaking, you can use crosses or dots, it doesn't matter. I personally prefer crosses. So, you'd get a series of people and then you would start plotting the points. And so, what you might find is that there is seemingly a connection between weight and height. That as one increases, the other appears to be increasing. Now this isn't always going to be true, and that's why it's not in a nice, neat, straight line. And there's dots all over the place, um, around that line going up from the bottom left to the top right. So, that is why we're going to look at correlation in the next video to try and understand what the graph is actually trying to show us and how we can describe it.